When did my um transition start doing that? Sub Malik Pop and Chief. I actually forgot about this. I actually kind of saw. I saw. I was when I sent the um the show notes for the Tower God discussion that I'm going to be recording tomorrow. Just just real quick, actually, I'll just explain that. So because Haku. Joe and some and like JD from the Otaku Fix, those guys only read officials, they don't read Raws. I'm recording one offline. I'm probably gonna post if I don't post it tomorrow or or Friday, I guess, I'll post it on Tuesday. On Tuesday. And then with like um Milios, um Ordering Mark and all those guys, we're going to do a live stream on YouTube where we talk about like the Raws and the current state of the of Tower God and everything. So I just separated them to two. So one will be offline. I'm not going to premiere it. I'm just going to post it. Uh, probably give it some time to breathe. I estimate it'll be anywhere from two to three hours. I'm not going to make it overly long. Um, tomorrow's video will be something a little different. Um, I'm, I'm kind of messing with the new style of editing that I've seen a lot of people doing where they're actually on the camera. But for the most part, but they actually like, I went somewhere and I, and I sat down and I'm like, I'm kind of dressed up. And I, I just, I just thought to kind of try it out, even though they usually do it with like a social topic or like topic related to like, I don't know, shit like millennials versus Gen Z and shit like that. So anyways, yeah. So stay tuned for that. And then obviously, and obviously Friday, every Friday I drop a mini essay or a long form video essay. The bomb rush cyberpunk video is pretty much done. I just got to just watch it because it's pretty long. More long, I have to just watch it through and make sure I didn't make any mistakes. I kind of want that one to be perfect, but with all that preamble out the way, so Haku did. I don't know if you guys remember this before. Haku had done one of those like screen time videos where I think he did it based on how many times they appeared in the chapter or if they just appeared in a chapter based on the screen time. I can't remember who ended up being like really high last time. It was something, it was like a crazy high number. I don't recall. I don't remember, but he's done it for like since chapter two, uh, 600 or I guess up to chapter 600. I don't remember what chapter runs. We're at 615. So yeah, he's like, okay. So yeah, so up to 600 from wherever it is he left off. So we'll see what's going on there. We're going to react to that and then we'll call it a, we'll call it a night. So, hope everyone's ready. It was bor it was borrow. Yeah, somebody crazy was like there like every single time and we're like, "Bro, what?" So, remember the stream where you reacted to his first video on this? Time flies, man. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Um I'm going to I'm going to start it. You guys let me know if the audio is good and stuff and we'll pause when we see something like wild or crazy and stuff like that. So, without further ado, um for the YouTubers who will see this later, like the video, subscribe, hit the bell down so the ghost of the 13 month series won't get you, and you can stay notified. Let's commence. That that was the video that taught me Amigo Chaz. Yes, <laughs> he was out there. Hey, everybody, Haku here with the top 100 characters in Tower of God by screen time. As Let me know the volume is. 600. Now, if you've been around, do I need to turn him up or turn me or turn him down? And I said that every hundred chapters, which is going to be like every two years plus some hiatus time, that I would go back through and redo this. I would update it. So here we are. And doing this. All right, I got you. By the way, shout out to Haku, man. He's been doing this the longest. I'm turning him up a little bit. Yeah, he's been doing this the longest. So shout out to him, man. He's been grinding for real. For the second, technically third time around since I did a 550 update since we were on hiatus. Uh, it's given me the chance good? to learn from the first video and some of the things that happened in the first video were say that I would get to a character here and there and don't worry this isn't just going to be me up here on screen I'm going to have visuals on screen just like last time but there were times when I would get to a character I'd be like this character is in this position okay on to the next one and getting to see people react to the video is Sorry, real quick. Tomorrow, I'm not doing Al Ashi and One Piece. I'm doing One Piece. Then the next Thursday, I'm doing Al Ashi. All right. Especially live reactions, which was very helpful. There were times when people were just like, um, who was that character? Why are they this high up? So unless it's like an obvious one, I'm going to try to do a better job of like, when we get to some characters saying who they were and why they're this high up. Uh, that shouldn't be super crazy necessary, but there is that. Another thing that people wanted me to do for this video that was requested was to 
say how far each character went up in rank or down in rank compared to the chapter 500 video. I just want you guys to know I'm never doing some shit like this for Tower God ever. <laughs> don't ask, don't don't inquire. I'm never doing it. So I'm with not. That, I'm going to do all of the characters, and I will say how much they went up or went down in rank. And I was honestly, I was honestly kind of scared at first that this video would be a little unnecessary, that things wouldn't change that much. But in the past 100 chapters, only nine characters kept the same position that they were in last time. And even one of those, the fact that they kept the same position, is kind of wild in itself. So there were a lot of changes. Secretly. There were nine totally new characters that entered the top 100. And I mean, new as in weren't in the top 100 last time. But surprisingly, like extremely shockingly, I just kind of thought to myself while doing the notes. I was like, there's no way that any new I'm character I'm just grabbing a lot because we didn't have many introduced between 500 and 550 which was the end of the nest um so pretty much all of the new characters introduced have been since 551 which is the beginning of the post hiatus and i was like there's no way none of them have had enough time to make it into the top 100 and i was pleasantly dead wrong because two characters showed up within the past less than 50 chapters and made it all the way to the top 100 Better be tiara. and you need to be in 21 chapters last time you needed 17 chapters to make it in to the top 100 now you need 21 so it's just very surprising that two were able to make it just as I went through last time, I am going to go through the ground rules, the basics, before getting into this for anybody who's new. So when I took the screen time notes, I did it by chapter appearances. Did this character appear in this chapter or not? Because doing it by panel appearances would... This already took me probably dozens, maybe dipping into the hundreds of hours to do. So to do it by... <laughs> like I said, I'm never doing that shit. Never. Ever, ever panels uh just extrapolating that out would take at least hundreds of hours and i just can't figure out a way to really justify all of that plus i feel like that would make things more inaccurate because then you're just asking more questions if a character is in a panel more than one time like when a character is dodging through attacks does that count or if a character is like barely in a panel does that count and it would really pad the stats of characters that are chronically in the background of panels because though they are just in the background they would be in a lot more so i it still counts bro shout out to amigo chaz i didn't know he was lurking like that bro he was lurking in every in every chapter more bro. accurate way to do it but that doesn't to say that some characters aren't a little bit screwed over by these rules i would say lopobia ren for example i feel like ren's actual number of chapter appearances doesn't necessarily you know tell you how dense those appearances were but you know it, it's the best i can no way of doing this would be completely flawless uh, in addition to that, some rules that people always ask up, about. Guru? Flashbacks do count because that's the character. Shout if Lizard, it's a data version on the hidden floor, that counts as a separate character rather than the same one. Uh, honestly, Yuan Sung would be helped out tremendously if we counted both him and Daddy Yuan Sung as the same character. Um, for silhouettes, it has to be identifiable. If it's clearly, if a character's like, wow, that's Baylord Yama, and we see a silhouette, and the silhouette is clearly clearly Yama, then it counts. Um, things like that. When it comes to other characters, if I need to get to them and explain it, I'll explain it when I- He is the OG. I, it, it, it genuinely makes me upset that he's not, he's not bigger. I wish I could help him, but I'm, I'm stuck too, bro. I don't know what to do. I get to them, characters like <laughs> wish the I REA siblings that are a part of White, for example, they count when they are the the main personality of White. If we see them individually, of course, they count, but when Joaquin is the main personality of White, it's Joaquin, and when uh, Vicente is the, or Vicente is the main personality of White, then it counts as him. Duh. So that's the way those counted. Also, again, reiterating, because this is, you know, we're in an era where some people are months ahead because of scans. This is just by the official release. This is by chapter 600 even. Um, so I just figured that was worth reiterating. And again, anything else I'll get to as I'm going through all of this. 
Uh, for example, like there are some exceptions. There are only two exceptions that I really remember off the top of my head being one where Mick Cage has this entire scene where he has an entire conversation and he's talking to Yasracha, I think it is, and we don't actually see Mick Cage's physical body, but he has an entire conversation and who Mick Cage? That I I who the fuck is that again? <laughs> And they sounds familiar. It's a lighthouse there to represent him. And I'm like, the, the lighthouse is clearly representative of him. And he did something that was, you know, significant in the chapter. I really think it'd be unfair not to count that. And the other very similar, very similar situation was there's another time on the Hell Train where Beta has an entire conversation with Andrasi. And at least I think it's Beta and Andrasi. Remember when Andrasi's in the little like weird hot tub thing? I think Harian is there too. Um, and Beta shows her the footage and everything. Uh, that's an entire conversation. I don't think we actually see the real Beta, but it's like Beta's having a whole conversation with Andrasi. I really feel like I should probably count him here. So there are very few exceptions like that. But either way, long intro aside, usual Haku long intro time. Before I get into the top 100, I'm going to talk about the characters that were in the top 100 last time that dropped out, that didn't make it. So last time we had a big 9-way tie for 100th place, and this time we have a big 9-way tie again, but this time it's for 95th place. So instead of being 108 characters technically, we're at 103 characters technically, plus we have 9 new characters coming in, which means that we had 14 characters that dropped out, that aren't in the top 100 anymore. And those 14 are, uh, they're Sanchez, Miayum, Data Viol, Elpathian, Death Lady, Ja Lulu, Mian, Apple, Yuliu Mata, Ari Bright Sharon, Dang Dang, Yuhana, uh, Heljo, and Kanzone. They are all out of the top 100. So that's crazy. Heljo's already out of the top 100. Some of you know what that means. You know who is, you know who's in there, right? I'm about to put them in chat. Yes, sir. The goat. Fried chicken. Fly vixen. Give me disease, but need you in my kitchen. There's Ari Bright Jaren, I think I said. Yeah, that that's sad. That's that's a little bit Even of a bummer to me. Chicken, spicy chicken. But either way, let's just go ahead and start getting into the top 100 itself. So we start things out with that big nine-way tie for 95th place that goes, you know, 95 through 1. 95 Sun Unari, 95 I O 95 Masco, 95 Pedro, 95. Oh, did he keep the, okay, I get it. He kept the previous number. And unless they got, repl okay, I got it. I'm caught up. So Tiara, Tiara's not as high as I thought she would be. But then again, he goes by one appearance. She's in a lot of panels, but she's not actually in that, that, that many chapters. But she, she made it though. He said, try, they got a headless corporate. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So yeah, Pedro, Huang. I don't know who fuck that is. Oh, that's Yuri, y Yura's brother thingy. I do not know who Medley is. I don't I do not recall who this nigga is at all. So O's the other red witch. Lafav is one of the bad bitches from the Lopobia family. She got the rocket launcher. And now Tiara. Bet. That I mentioned before. And well, if it was that, current, you're probably Robidow, right. Now Tiara, who is new uh, to the list and also completely new. Been around less than 50 chapters. Couldn't imagine we're doing that whole beginning portion. I think I don't. I think you just kept the general number of how many times they appeared, and if it got surpassed, it got knocked out. I'm not sure though. Medley is data. Oh, that's probably why. Fucking stupid zeros and ones. Um, yeah, I, 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 Tiara, man. Ugh. I don't think about already it. Already has the 21 required to make it into the top 100. You have Lopobia Lafav, who is also new to the top 100. What's up, Muncher? You have Suo in 95th. Hi. who Dropped four spots actually. Medley there, Huang, Pedro, and Master, start telling YouTube when who are I'm live on all Twitch. dropping 11 spots. Do, Same with Io and Sun Wunare. They all dropped 11 spots. All of those except for Lafav, Tiara, and Suo, who only dropped four. So again, to go over any that you may have... Um, I'm doing well. I can't complain. Nest, I'm still breathing, I guess. You know, how my grandma would say, I'm Helen. alive. We just saw her kind of recently. Only how are like you? Once. Medley was Bottas' daughter within the hidden floor, and it's still just absolutely wild to me that Medley is a in the top 100 huang was yura's brother or at least the body of yura's brother that was taken over by the spirit mm. of the big breeder and of course huang went in yura's brother's body counts and huang within the big breeder body also counts because it's still the same character just in a different body pedro was the conductor of the train who was not around anymore after being defeated by yuri mask girl was a member I think she's called Gunner Girl, actually, in the 
in the wiki, but I always called her Mask Girl in my notes. She's an unnamed member of Aka Williams' team. Haku of the Tubes, um, he basically did a, he did a little Tower God project where he took the top 100 characters by screen time and he's like ranking them. But he's doing it up until chapter 600. I don't remember where he stopped the last time he's, did, he's done this, but this is like his second time doing a project like this. So we're just reacting to it. And chill, chill stream. Nothing crazy today. I'm tired. And it's just nuts that she's here, but she's there through Revolution Road. She's there when we get into Hell Train, when we go into Dollar. What do you got show, going on in the back behind him? Oh, Pokemon! Big uh, group Pokemon. fight against yeah. Anna, where she's summoning the rabbit, and there's like oh, all Pokeballs uh, on the top shelf, acid stuff being poured, and all of that. Where are those uh, pal spheres, my friend? We play Pally now. The workshop battle. <laughs> Eo is here, but Punk is not. Pal World. Uh, I had to Minata finish Tem Tem. I'm not playing a game like of a month. Bomb's original season one team, the group that got <laughs> yes, the rings. Sunwinade is a part of that. She was the first anima that, well, the first regular anima that we really saw so there's your big tie for 95th place next is actually another pretty large tie i feel like there aren't quite as many large ties as there were the first time around especially of course as we get into the higher ranks where they're gonna you got that as a high... okay so he... okay so no i'm a little bit wrong then I I, I I for some reason i thought he stopped at the latest chapter we ever ever like got to at the time i don't think i don't think did get that far i don't remember where he stopped but he probably did like a portion and then did the rest now so <laughs> the sweet fish <laughs> how did i you make it here that's crazy so we got albeda we got yule oh he's so trash verdi verdi we got michael hong chuanwa is that the is he the weapon guy well oh, boro i don't even remember at this point that is hard batis trash gato trash jordan that's my guy Serpent Master? Is that what they call him in the um official dub now? It's not like the sea snake or mud flat snake? They call him Serpent Master? That's funny. Shadow Durag Jordan, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, sweet first. <laughs> Say it, bro. Counts and it's going to be easier to distinguish them from one another. Uh, but there are a couple. These two right here at the bottom are the only real significant large ties, I feel like. Uh, in 89th place, these six characters, you got Lopobia Yule, who is, again, new to the list. Not really new to the past 100 chapters, but didn't make it into the top 100 last time. Or last time, Arie Galbel sure was the last good you know, dog, one nigga. Of the <laughs> Arie siblings, but she got a bunch of other souls fused into her, which mm -hmm. kind of changed her a bit. She's actually my bad, Haku. My bad. I, it was kind of a spontaneous thing, bro. I just, <laughs> I was just, uh, I was like, I should stream, and then I think I went in the chat and I posted the like show notes. I'm like, oh yes, I gotta do this video. I didn't do it yet. But what's up, bro? Hope all is well. We gonna talk tomorrow, man dropping five positions down from last time there is the sweet fish who is the brother remind me where you stopped last time was it chapter 500 where did you stop last time i don't remember where you last stopped just 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 out of curiosity the firefish that kun has now and this is another one where i gotta specify some rules anytime kun uses fire powers that doesn't count it only counts when we see the actual like fish itself uh the sweet fish is actually up up two spots from last time. <laughs> wow. Uh, there's Verdi in 89th place. Verdi okay, 500. Was a thank you. Of Team Shibisu. We haven't really seen her in a while. I think maybe the last time we saw Verdi was Last Station, maybe. It, we saw either Vespa or Verdi Last Station. I don't remember which one it was. I think it was Verdi. Uh, Michael, of course, a member of Rachel's team. Last we saw Michael, I believe Michael was part of the group that escaped from the cage and is probably yeah, one of big the people syringe with um, that's following what was Rachel in it? Around. What was this? What was this big ass syringe? He has some type of like chemical in there. I can't. Remember, I can't remember what it was called. Like, I almost said promethazine. That's not that. <laughs> uh, then Hong Chunwa is another formaldehyde. One uh, I've also got to say Verdi, Michael, and Hong Chunwa. Also, all three of them dropped nine spots. So I guess they were in 80th last time. Uh, no, no, Hong Chunwa no, no, was a member I, again. I have the shit open. Never mind. one who wielded <laughs> Narmada, the ignition weapon that Andrasi took for him, a fisherman that was part of bomb. You're interested in how much of the total screen time for all characters are just taken up by Bam? <laughs> Bam was, 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 is always going to be up there. This team mm -hmm. who made it past. Never yeah, from Aldehyde, right? I think it was, I think it was something like the that. The anime robbed Hung Chun Wa. So if he comes back in the manhwa, then I don't know what the anime is going to do about that. Uh, He's not but, coming yeah, back. <laughs> he was part of the group that got the rings at the end of season one, and we just never saw him again. This is 
The other one, in addition to Tiara, the big surprise here, Ooh. 87th place is a tie between Jordan and the Serpent Master. Shout out to Jordan, bro. And Jordan is actually dropping 12 spots. He's one of the, the good dog niggas, bro. He's one of the only, not just only the few that we like. But was introduced with less than 50 chapters ago and is already at 87th place. That is just a crazy amount. Uh, really happy for him, though, because I really personally like the Serpent Master a lot. I never thought that I would, but I really came to like the character a lot. Because he's, he's, he's actually a... He's I don't have I, I I didn't know they called him the Serpent Master. I don't I didn't I don't recall reading him, them calling him the Serpent Master when I checked the originals. I thought they called him the Flash Snake or Sea Snake, but he's a good character. Like I like him. Like Strava Ray's the one who's a freak, bro. It wasn't him. Like he a good dad. He's like trying to take care of his like you know daughter. I like him. Jordan, too. of course, with if you, you don't that. remember, was he ugly as one fuck, of <laughs> the sort of high ranking members of you Yama's gotta you gotta go to your Rochimaru Orochimaru um, route. Yusracha he kinda he kinda sexy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't know. We haven't really seen no too that. much of Only me. since okay. early season three. <laughs> then of course you have an a three way tie for eighty four between Gato, Batis, and Data Zahard. And they are all dropping 13 places because they were all tied for 71st last time. And so Gato, of course, hopefully it's recent enough that you remember, was like Yama's right-hand man, but he was a traitor, a horrible father. And I'm Maku, um, um, Gato will always be a legend in, in, in my in my community for deepest, darkest, blackest foot. Because me and Simi were cutting the hell up. What kind of attack name is that? Deepest, darkest, blackest foot, bro. <laughs> I wish he fused. I wish his fused together form looked more like the Snake Charmer. He looked cool. He has a cool design, but he's ugly. But yeah, I like. Honestly, I like Super Master though. Not that great a character. I don't know. I don't think he got any votes in the popularity poll. Uh, Gato, not a very well liked guy. Bodice and Dad is a hard. Feel so weird that they have the same amount. Where do you of get the strength to do this, bro? Dad is a hard. <laughs> I could never do uh, this. But it's actually kind of interesting that Bodice had more screen time. I actually feel like because of the way this is set up, just give me one second. I can I can probably move myself down just a little bit. Like it'll feel like it will look better. I gotta get myself in the box though. That's, did I did I fuck it up? I don't think I did. All right, my bad. Let me hit that like too. What the hell is wrong with me? Hit that like button, motherfucker. In the hidden floor than Dad is a hard did, but they end up tied because we saw a little bit of Dad is a hard. Oh, hold on, I didn't move the Thor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck up my uh, my aesthetic, man, my aesthetic. That is a hard deserves better. No, I had to save my time. <laughs> that's good though. <laughs> Honestly, it helps me remember everything that's going on. You do be remembering people and characters. I'll be like, who the hell is this? And like, don't you remember in season two that one guy who did this? I'm like, no, who is this? <laughs> As like a hint, just a little treat before we got to Hidden Floor. And then in 82nd place is Levin and Madarako, who were tied for 69th last time, so they've dropped 13 spots. Okay. Madarako's a very odd one. Hey, you no see matter my, you how see many my guy? times I look at it, yes, I'm sir. just like, I know the notes are right. I feel like I remember so much more than I did before t uh, taking screen time notes. I actually think my memory for this and One Piece are just getting worse by the worse by the hour. <laughs> okay, my guy, Mew Love. My guy, my guy, Kunaduan, Data Form. Ho, not that ho ho, and. You got you got my girl Chian Hiha, okay. But I don't know how he showed Shelly up that many okay. times. No, he was in workshop battle, but it's not like he Chicken really love. did much. He showed up at the end. Of Show me him two, at the again, snow that's tree, right at the end. The tree he of kind of ran around snow garden. Snow a garden? lot during the cage, and I guess that's where most of it comes from. But it feels very odd that Madaraka was this high up here. Levin, once Shelly. again, one of Bomb's teammates <laughs> that got the rings Archeon? at the end of season one, a light <laughs> bear, I believe he was. Part of uh, Kuhn and Rachel's class. But uh, the anime, I talked about doing Hung chun -wa dirty before. Did Levin even dirtier, just taking him out right at the beginning of the season. And uh, it was very, very unfair. In 79th place is a three-way tie between Lopobia, Shiliel Zahard, Mule Love, and Akri Young. One piece and comes and goes for me. Sometimes I feel like I've been hit by the SpongeBob orb of confusion. I could I could I couldn't explain it to you, but at some point I realized whatever magic spell One Piece had over me, it's just gone. Like I just, my love for it is just not the same. I ha I don't know if you know this, Haku. I have not read One Piece all 2024. I'm going to read them tomorrow. I heard he's going on a three week break or something. I haven't read it all 2024, bro. And Shiliel is actually new to the top 100. She wasn't in the top 100 last time. Yeah, she Yula came. She, she came. Went up. 
21 spaces. He was in 100th place last Gang. year. Gang! 79th place. Gang! Akriyung Throw him up! Is, uh, <laughs> Throw him up! Who went I, I feel like you didn't focus on Mule Love long enough for my liking, bro. <laughs> I, think, I think he needed five minutes <laughs> of each time you saw him and what he was doing. Like when he was freeing the Houndborns, the, um, the Beastkins. When that bum of Van Kel failed. Four spaces. So Akriyung, also known as Ghost, has been around since season one. Showed up a bit here and there in season three. Mm -hmm. Part of, like, revolution. Part of the group chat, it would seem. Uh, you've got Mule Love, who was there at the 20th oh, back. floor. Mule the Love. very beginning of season two. Excited to see him soon in the anime when we get to season two. Uh, Take the One Piece bingo cards from my descriptions. I'm gonna, I'm, 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 that, that sounds like fun. I'm going to do that. You said chill on me. <laughs> oh, man, I'll enjoy uh, that. That might date this video for those of you watching this years later. Uh, in addition to that, Shilial, you should probably know if you're reading currently, first showed up in Name. That's Hunt. the better twin. Then in 76th, we have yet another three way tie. This time it's Data Kun Edwan, Ho, and Serena Rinnan. Ho and Serena Rinnan, both season one characters that were kind of important in season one. Kind of cool that they're both tied with e er, with each other. And Datacoon Hedwan, again, was in Hidden Floor. Should be a pretty obvious one. Let's see, how much did they move? They all three were tied last time, too, as well. They all went down 12 spaces. Uh, then in 74th, we have Varagarf tied with Kel Halam. Kel Halam, again, you should know if you're reading currently, is one of the FUG elders. And Varagarf is the <laughs> first mad dog of Yama that we got to see. And each of them... So Kel Halam is the one that I said was shocking that didn't change places. Kel Halam was in 74th last time. All of these other characters are dropping, like 12, 13 spaces. But Kel Halam maintained it. He held in there. He is still 74th. <laughs> Vargar, oh, however, <laughs> dropped 11 spaces from last time. Then, at the top of this grouping, we have Hachon He at uh, 73rd place, and Hachon He has gone up 9 spaces. From Shout last out to my time. girl. Again, if you don't remember, she's that's kind one of, of the Ha family greats. Kalavan's right hand woman, in a way. We see her with Kalavan more than pretty much anyone. Yep. In 71st place is a tie between Ron May and Arya. Arya's a character. Look, look at Amigo Chaz. Legendary. <laughs> Legendary. Arya on me. Gust yeah, Gustang would be going up. I wonder where Traumer is. Um, Shenny. Makes sense. Amigo Chaz. Muntari. Mazzino. Paracool. Arya Vincente. Chang Balrode. Oh, he, 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 oh, he's gone now. And and Moron. Ugh, not Moron. Character who was on this high still last time Damn had it. barely been introduced when we were at chapter 500. Last station has so many new designs, place, they really did. Which is, I don't know, another not really weird one. It feels like we've seen a lot of Arya, but then if you ask like what she's actually done, I kind of like I don't want to hate on her, I don't hate Arya, but I also think, huh, she hasn't really done a ton. Ron, May I don't, I have, I'm very indifferent in Arya. I just, I, I just mad that she had a space type ability that White and Bam were like. I figured it out after you used it twice. I'm like, how did you figure that out so fast? Like that time manipulation thing should have went. It should have been like something harder to figure out, in my opinion. But it is what it is, yo. May is the regular who for the rewind scene. That's a fact. Showed up the dark twist, dark chain. Knocking and Drossy's team, Team Shibisu, and then was part of Team Mad Dog and kind of. Ever since I found out Mutari's namesake, I feel like a fraud. I'm denying. I should have caught it. Ah, yeah, yeah. Then in He's definitely named after a football player. Actually, sorry, I forgot Come to mention, there. she is down 10 spaces. Uh, 69th place, we have Povidal Gastang. Yeah, Arya's just there. was not in the top 100 last time, so Gastang is new to this. And Kunma Sheni Zahard, who is actually up six places from last time. Last time she was... That makes sense because she sent Bam and them into Suspendium. Then she was speaking with the captain out and or the boss, depending on how you see it. And I think when um the Cat Tower stuff was still happening... When um, we've seen um, the real version of, uh, what's the spear bearer's new user? New user Asensio. Um, she said, yeah, that makes sense. It was in 75th. So yeah, Arya's yeah, whatever. We though. have Micheni and Gastang here. You should probably know who they are. Uh, 68th place is Alexei Amigo Chaz. And Legendary. Joe Amigo Chaz is a <laughs> Legendary lurker. background heavy character. <laughs> he be lurking. Amigo Chaz was around a lot in season one. Was again one of Bomb's teammates who got the rings. He returned then in season the two. black gloves on. Shibisu. He did a little bit in the workshop battle and hasn't done much overtly since then. We see him a bit in the background with Team Shibisu after that. Uh, including at the beginning of season three when we 
learn about Rack and Shibisu and Hatsu and Lorei and all being led by Evan to go find Wu Yian. Amigo Chaz is there carrying the like frozen slab of ice coon on his back. So Amigo Chaz is part of that. We Shut just up, recently saw him with Chang's death was one of the most foul things SU did kill them to show off records where monsters only to turn around and make them bums right away. SU is funny, bro. Like Lurious King Nine then. What's what's going on, Abdel? I'm in the gym, Abdel. How you doing, brother? Traveler and Hope Anak well. and Andrasi. So again, he's been around here and there. Muntari in 65th. Wait, sorry, I forgot to mention. I keep forgetting to mention how far they've dropped. Alexei Amiga Chess has dropped eight spaces from last time. Uh, next, we have a three-way tie for 65th between Muntari, Yurik, <laughs> I'm a lot of Boros like top 20 still. And Muntari and per er, Pericule were actually tied last time and have both dropped nine spaces. But Yurik Mazano. Even though he's been around a little bit, he's still dropped. He only dropped three spaces as opposed to the other two dropping nine, but he still dropped a little bit. That's you interesting. You should know Yurik. You should probably well, know Paris. But well, then again, well, then again, I'm I'm trying to be very careful because I know I know Haku doesn't read things. I know the the loose like thing happened, but was it like that's post 600, isn't it? I don't remember, but all right. Well, he was early season two and season one comedy relief character Revolution. And I guess more than comedy relief, because some of his revolution stuff was really fair important enough, to the enough. workshop battle. But Muntari was a member of Akka's team. Gorgon's who was fist! Who used reverse flow control, kind of embarrassed Ron a little bit during Revolution Road. Then during Dollar Show, he was actually part of Team Bomb, where the characters were oh. split into different teams. And one of the teams was Bomb, Muntari, and Hanul Kang. So Muntari was there for part of that, where he died to Welser Elliot. Uh, then 63rd place, you've got Cheng Blarode and Arie Vicente. And that was my little break. I don't know how to answer that, but we're going to keep on trucking, brother. We're going to keep on moving forward. It's all we can really do. And they I'm have all right, though. moved right. quite a bit. Right. Vicente might be one of the biggest movements on the list, actually. Surprisingly. Surprisingly. Even though we've seen a little bit of him, to me it's still surprising. So Chang has dropped seven places, but Arie Vicente has gone up 30... No, I, I, I made sure to write that down and pay attention. So, I, so all the questions I asked, I went in reverse order from the latest chapter that dropped. Because I knew on Thursday we wouldn't get the one on Sunday, so I was like... No, we'll be all right. So I remember that because Enki do win the jelly, the jello stuff or whatever. That's all we can do, brother. Everything turn around. Just know we love you. I appreciate that. Um, I'll talk about it when I can. I just not time yet, but just, just a lot happened in like literally the span of like two days, like a day. Thirty-seven places. He and Mule Love were tied at one hundred last time. Mule Love went all the way up to what was he seventy-nine, and Ch er, and Vicente Wait till Mule Love comes back. all the way up to sixty-three, which is just an insane, insane jump. Vicente, of course, being one of the siblings that became white, and he's now the main personality. He's still being held on Gastang's floating castle, I guess. Then Chengbla Road was there all throughout season two and the Hell Train and everything. And then we got the reveal that he was working for Paul. And then it seemed like he died, but he can't have possibly died because Doom met him and talked to him. So in order for Doom to have done that, he had to have survived and been alive. But that was just really brushed off <laughs> in a really small way. So when he shows up again, a lot of people are probably going to be really confused like... Didn't that guy die? But apparently he didn't. I don't even remember Doom talking to him. <laughs> I thought he died. <laughs> I probably didn't register her that it was him then. That's kind of weird. Also, was it a, a flat? I don't know. When we get the Return Chicken Love Club leader arc, yeah, we need that. We need that. They In 62nd we place, we've got Dewan. And Dewan's another one who Moron. made a little bit of a jump. She is up Moron. 13 spaces. That's actually more of a jump. Dewan's Her sister's more better. Last time. And again, you should know she who Dewan is. She stacks more paper than you? I should also mention that the only things I actually have written down, because I keep glancing over at my notes, are how much the characters went up or down. Anything else about who they are or how the screen time worked or anything like that is just extemporaneous. I'm just going off the top of my head so if anything's screwy that's why uh 59th place another three-way tie this time between daddy yuan sung reflejo and lopobia ren uh daddy yuan sung went down i feel like ren had to have gone up right ren had to have gone up shout out to elaine she's still holding it down lilia makes sense she was all up in them chapters or a postal there. Shout Vespa like Vespa. I'm like okay with I'm okay with Cha now. I like Quant. 
I don't like I don't like Ghost Lang. I don't care about her. Rafleho. B rank regular swing. Mm-hmm. Doom in the Nest mentions Chang and Quad and and Quadro and have a flashback to them since Doom got revived after his death. He has to be alive. I guess maybe maybe some heart shit happened where like you know, the, like the heart could stop. I don't know some canine hound um houndborn canine beastkin hacks. All I'm seeing is Ghost saying better than Urag, Mule Love, and much more. That's crazy. Five spaces, so did Rafael, Paul. and Lopo Bia Ren actually went up 16 spaces. So Ren's a character that, that you should know, been around since season one. And like I said, his number of... Appear- I still think him fighting Bam was, like, weird. Like, it was weird. Like, you have beef with, like, a knack and whatnot. <laughs> like, I just thought that was a weird fight. But I like that fight. It's a good fight. ...appearances maybe doesn't we'll accurately talk about reflect it. quite his, as much... His shoe game and the lead shoe game? Clean. Were. Rafleho was a character kick game was who was going part crazy. of Team FUG and then served kick as game, kick game, kind of a main antagonist for the workshop battle. Daddy Yuhan Sung is clearly Daddy Yuhan Sung in 58th place. It was a good fight. It the was. biggest who, I agree with the that. forgotten Baylord brother, Baylord Paul, who has... We'll talk about it in detail late when we talk about it, but I was just like, oh, Bam using his brain for real. Like, that's what I liked about it too. Even when he fought, um, what did you guys call him? Serpent Master, the mud flat snake, sea snake. I was like, oh, interesting. He's actually He's dropped five spaces from oh, last time, but even being 58th is impressive still because Bomb is, or Bomb, because Baylord Paul is very, very, very forgotten. He is left out of all of this stuff that's gone on with Yasracha and Yama. Juice block panels and in the Webtoon Hall of Fame. Facts. A lot of this flashback stuff. Paul Never in my life have I wanted to be a juice block. It. He fought the Windbird back at the beginning of the nest, said, oh, I'm feeling a little woozy, and we have not seen this guy since then. So uh, Paul is one of the most extremely forgotten characters, <laughs> I feel like, here. In 54th place, we actually have a four-way tie. This one's kind of large. Between Lopobia, Elaine, who Dang. you should know, and who has gone up or down she went up five spaces which feels weird really it feels like we haven't seen oh enough of her, because she... of the um this, what, what do we always call it the stock market game <laughs> with tamatoa the crab or sebastian from little mermaid i think she was around for that i'm kind of makes sense i guess she went up five spaces in the last 100 chapters lopobia liliel zahard who wasn't this is the second largest jump for somebody who wasn't in the top 100 last time liliel wasn't in the top 100 last time and is all the way in but she's been up in all these uh, chapters Porto- Shout out to the towel is in 54th and so is Vesta. did laura make it they no laura would be laura would be lower probably last time, so they're laura both six spots down uh poropo was the uh train conductor kind of right. semi-conductor he was working for pedro oh, so pedro first. was the conductor he, was he drove the train the You're right. That's flashbacks right. That's with team boro and everything he just drove it. he was the mc for the dollar show after yuri takes down pedro he takes over as so glad elaine and an important character in the local bia family the, arc i don't know driver, whatever there. for the hell train so we see him either. a lot just know. at various points i'm giving up on everything the hell train or whatever i'm just here to and get paid and then a bit at the last station so it feels weird that he's this high up the vibes just i, I look at poor po and i'm like did we see him that much but apparently we did it it makes logical sense. Well, I guess, go sang, shut up. Was. <laughs> shut but it's still up. weird. It's still a weird one. And Vespa, of no. course, is a member of Team Shibisu. Was saying better. I don't like her either. See Team Shibisu. Uh, then we have 52nd place, a tie between Cha and Quant Blitz. And Cha has gone up 28 spots from last time. What? Oh, Kendrick Dial. That makes so much sense. I was like, huh? Have you even seen him? And then also when he was with ha- um, Bam on the ship, when he's fought lily all so that makes sense cha really uh the end of the nest and since then has grown a lot in his screen time and then quant blitz is actually somebody who dropped five spaces this is one where some uh questionability comes in with his screen time because i mentioned it last time that for quant if we see this guy on a billboard i'm counting it if we see him on a vending machine oh he'd be marketing that's true he'd be marketing himself he'd be out there like yo <laughs> quant ranker you know drink this new pepsi he'd be, he'd be marketing he'd be out there that's true that's like, you're an influencer for real crazy that gold sang has a better chance of coming back and being relevant than than, than a lot of these others yeah and i think we were talking about i was talking about with one of my friends um at work well he was like when are we gonna see yoa <laughs> she got packed by like wool and kel we never see it and i'm like i actually kind of forgot about her you're right paul paul's the one that i didn't forget about because i actually like i don't dislike any of the brothers like that like 
like my stocks for Yamaha have definitely dropped, but I'm counting I don't it. Hate Paul. So Qua- Paul Paul's funny to me because what's your name? Doom, Yama, and you? I'm Paul. And I was like, what's your name, Paul? His name is Doom. His name is Yama. Your name is Paul. She was funny to me. Quant, all of his product placement counts. Uh, so we have Quant and Cha there. I did mention how up or how much they went up and down. Uh, and then 51st place, just outside of dropping out of the top 50, is Yo Goseng, who is a member of Team Sweet and Sour, Team Tang Suyuk. And uh, it's kind of a bummer that somebody from Sweet and Sour is dropping out of the top 50. No, She's gone down seven spots from last time. So from here on out, we're getting into our top 50, and there should be, you know, a lot less ties. From here on forth. I just think it's weird how Paul got totally excluded from all the Yash Ration and Family Backs. I, I mean, he was there. I saw him. <laughs> he didn't say nothing or do anything. He was, he was just a baby. He was just a baby. <laughs> oh, Trauma. I thought Trauma might be a little higher, but it kind of makes sense because he would have gone from a character we haven't really seen unless you want to count that one, the one panel where he looks different with the animal ears and the tail to him being introduced with the silhouette up to, up to now. Calavan still top 50. That's what's up. Quattro Blitz. Liroro, one of my favorite rankers. Fuck Emily. Aka Williams, shout out, but you ugly. Hong, I think Hong was what I was thinking about. Is he the one with the weapon? Like, like follow, is, is that Boro? I think of Boro. <laughs> what am I thinking of? Angel is still out there. I don't even know who Yan Hu Kang is. Who's that? Is that a, I don't know where that is. Hey, it's Hong. Yeah. The Caliban fall off is heavy. Yeah, Caliban has, well, the joke everyone keeps making is Caliban is still on his knees because when Traumary came, he like bowed. And they're like, bro, Tr- Tr- Gus, um, Tr- um, G- Galavan is still there on his knees, just not moving. <laughs> it's just a, he hasn't moved, bro. Hey, it's Hong. Paul technically was there as a ba- as a baby. He was, he was. His low phobia trauma. He didn't do anything though. His, po- the- his point was that like, you know, Doom was like the oldest, so he got to say and do things and be involved, and he has the memory, so he's the one kind of kind of relay things. And then Yama, you know that like. He got um, Arcanac, the, and then, then with like Paul, with like Paul, Paul was just like in the panel, like he didn't do anything. And then you think with the with what's happening right now, he'd be around. I still expect him to show up though. Yeah, uh, Daniel has uh, Krishna and got uh, kidnapped with Yo. There we go. Don with the bum trying to make moves on Yo. That's who did. Okay, 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 okay. Lilial being the second Her biggest knight. jump for somebody that wasn't in the top 100. He Tramari, that fire I think, had only been in Still weird pausing around. It is a little As of weird. chapter 500. And in the past 100 chapters, he's gone all the way up from only being in two chapters to being in the top Femboy Tramari. So had them sexy is lips. Tramari tied with Emily. Second best Emily, up in the tower? one that I think people will question. Ca- how your so lip reveal still, be- still more Emily, better. Like the recent thing that uh, maybe we saw with um, Gorudo. It doesn't count unless we see the physical body that was kept, like the physical body that we saw at the workshop battle, even though that was kind of just imagined or fake or whatever. But like like the physical Emily, or if we see the actual Emily icon Icon. having a full conversation with somebody. If we see the actual icon of Emily, then it counts. If it's just a questionable texting, it doesn't, it has to very specifically blatantly be emily to count and even then emily already makes it into the top 50 with those rules in place uh emily dropped five spots from last time then in 48th place there is aka williams aka williams was a member of team boro he then formed his own team he was there throughout a lot of the early hell train from Revolution Road, through all of the stuff that led up to Dollar Show, through Dollar Show, and then sort of dropped out of the story after Dollar Show. And again, that that doesn't seem like that large a chunk of time. It was probably a good 50-some, 60-some chapters, maybe even more. But Akka was just in almost every single chapter, doing things as part of the team, having fights and stuff in that sort of span of time to make it here. And Akka has gone down five spaces since. Uh, 47th place, we have Hong Danwa, who was the swordsman who was following around, um, 
who is following around Ha Yura. He has another of the seven sacred swords or seven holy swords or whatever, just like Hung Chunwa has. What? And <laughs> he does? He and Jiwa <laughs> got separated from the team at the name hunt station, then got captured by Yul and Kel. He got a, um, he got a black blade. He got the, um, I don't know what CU is doing. Because even name recently, sword, bro? Even sometime more recently, Bomb was Bomb mentioned Yiwa and Danwa, and we still we haven't seen these guys. We do not know what's happening with Yiwa and Danwa right and now. And neither does SIU. Six spaces. <laughs> Uh, in 45th place, we have a tie between Leroro and Quietro Blitz. His soda or burger, whichever was which, got replaced by uh, by an imposter here. Uh, mm-hmm. Leroro has gone down five spaces. It's the only reason he is around. Quietro Fair has enough. gone down four spaces. I just, I just don't, I just don't remember that detail. I, I really should reread the second time, season. Like, and, like and, a couple cameos again, but... again like when Doom mentions him and Chang. Um, so we do have Quietro and Leroro. Haku, where are you at in Kubera, by the way? How far are you? How far is you? Because I know she's she's still on break now, so you're getting a chance to catch up. But how far are you? Just out of curiosity, you still in season one? Out right there, I'm actually interested to see how Quietro is portrayed in the anime with season two coming one up. One last hopefully, god, I miss Curry uh, God. Come hopefully back. We don't have some season one stuff going on. And Ooh, the Night of Rain Fire. Of That's my favorite season. But one, uh, um, with the arc. way that the mobile games really upped the. Uh, the femboyification of Quietro. I am interested to see the portrayal. He said early he is very analytic. Are you saying I'm not? I'll fight you, Ren. That Quietro gets in the anime. Oh, it's very good. Trust me. <laughs> it's very good. It gave me it gave me hope. <clears throat> I thought I thought I made a video and I told people Kubera saved my channel because at one point with hiatuses and what was happening in season three, I was not moved. And then Kubera, I'm like, I know the the fan base and community is small, but I that that story gives me joy, man. It's just character driven, great, good character arcs, the subplots and the central plots. I can't wait to do my video essay on it. It's going to. Um, so for them, I did mention how far they went down. So 43rd place is a tie now between Hanul Kong and Angela Ragwell. And again, you should probably remember Lerodo and Quattro. Quattro was around Chang all the time and has been in the story a lot. We're, we're up into the 45th place, but he, he was, I only remember him because I remember like when he was introduced, <clears throat> there was like, he could use like two bangs. They're like, oh my God. And Bam was just like, here's four, bitch. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> oh man, that's just unfortunate. No, there's other things too. Also, apparently he likes, dra- he likes dragons too. Hey, dragons out, man. Try to reach a client. You're I say that Real people dragons. are going to... Not re- like that bum Kaido, huh? Remember Han Kong in 43rd. 43rd is Angel slash Rogwell, who was the angel that was with Bolsar Elliot. Her and Elliot were then captured by Chang, and then Chang gave them to... I will always remember her, because I feel like she had... Her and Ewa had an opportunity to have a... a I still like the scene. It's just one of those scenes where I'm like... It could have used a bit more seasoning. I didn't like that thing was in a trance and couldn't answer that she was like, bro, do you know what the people of your family do when they come to the middle area and commit heinous acts? And she's like, in a trance? I'm like, ah, oh, I wish she could respond to that. That would have been such a better moment in my opinion. Still a great scene though. Paul, because Paul needed the information of where the cage was to try to find Yama, to try to do the whole invasion, free doom thing that we saw during the cage arc. So... Angel slash Rogwell and uh, Bolsar Elliot. The information was taken from them either by Chang himself I really miss or Calavan, by handing by them the over to Paul. And Paul got the information. Uh, but we haven't seen them since, so we don't know what's going on with them. And then Hanul Kong was first introduced as one of the regulars that was being guided by Boro. Because Boro would take on students and take them up the hell train. So he was being guided by Boro. We found out that he was a doctor. He stayed with Team Bomb throughout uh, Revolution Road. Then the st- family. I don't know who this nigga is. <laughs> you do a I don't know you, bro. I don't know you. <laughs> no new friends. Or have her more sense of justice, like show she how she deals with that. Otherwise, as she's out of the story now, I don't know what the goal of Caliban is at this point. Oh, I just I didn't mean bring him back. I just miss him, I guess. Or did I say bring him back? I don't know. I miss Caliban. I liked him. I I, I expected more from him in terms of like his role. I guess I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, bro. I don't even. I I just don't know what this series <laughs> stuff leading up to. The dollar show. Then in the Shout dollar show, bands. like I mentioned Essence before, of, the team for the dollar Apery. show was Bomb 
uh, Muntari and Hanul Kong, but Muntari got killed along the way. And then after Dollar Show, Hanul Kong, because he was a doctor, stayed back to take care of the people who were injured during that arc. And honestly, Rachel's got Michael on her team. She's got a doctor. Is is there any chance that when we see Boro and Sachi again, would they have their old teammates? Would they have Akka or Daniel with them if we see them again? Would they have people like Hanul Kong or Yuhana? Who knows? But that's who Hanul Kong is. Um, he and Angel slash Rogwell have both dropped five spaces. They were tied last time. Then in 42nd place, we've got Kalavan. Kalavan breaking into the top 50 this time around by going up nine spaces. You should probably know who he is. Moving into what is our top 41. This is our last tie before there's one more in the next group, and those are the only two ties left. Uh, we've got 39th place is Evan Kell, Bwelser Elliott, and Ed and Dan. I just mentioned Bwelser Elliott being one of the mad dogs of Yama, everything that happened with him being... Evan Kell, loser, Elliott, dead, Edwan, Sonic Speed! Yes, Racha. Rest in peace, Daniel. Shout out to Daniel. Shia, shia, shout out to you. I doom. Hey, Young Sleep. My boy Beta, and <laughs> why she? No, 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 Haku, why? Haku, Haku, why? Haku, why did you use that crusty ass pick of Hachinsa? <laughs> he has so many better panels. Why did you use that crusty ass pick of it? I need to know. <laughs> Being given to Paul, and we haven't seen him since. Like for a second, I didn't recognize him. I'm like, bro. <laughs> That's a crusty pig, bro. <laughs> so who knows what's going on there? Ed and Dan, of course, like was a member really, of Team not Kuhn, but ended up as a member of Team Novik. And hopefully whenever we see Team Novik or again, <laughs> then we will see more of Dan. And Evan Kell, of course, you should likely know. My boy's looking Evan crusty has gone enough. Up five spaces from last time. Blosser Elliott. Get the same panel saves as the first one. Okay, all right, fair enough, three fair spaces. Enough. Then we I'm have... surprised I didn't say it the first time then. Probably didn't realize. So I'm just like, bro, <laughs> this picture though? <laughs> Like you don't know, have one where you're nice and suited up and in in the new three third season style. I said, bro, this is this when he um pulled up on Bam and them or Karaka. <laughs> Lopo Bia Yasracha, who I forgot to mention before even getting into this, I wanted to say it made sense for Ren because we really got his actual reveal. So that made sense. I'm not mad at that. I just I just I, just, I I'm not even mad. I just thought it was funny. I'm just like <laughs> that pick is crusty. That's all. The the most surprising space on this entire list to me, and I'm kind of jumping ahead a little bit, the most surprising in the entire list to me was 35, but we'll get there. So 38th is Lopobia Yisracha, who has gone up uh, 26 spaces, which makes sense, but sadly, uh, the frog may be alive, but the cat is not, so we likely won't be Cobalt seeing too gang. much more. Cobalt uh, gang. Aside from flashbacks, potentially. In 37th place, there's Daniel Hatchett, <laughs> member of Team Boro, member of Team Rachel, was around for a ton and was really, really important in the early Hell Train. So 37th place he is Daniel. Killed. Uh, Daniel has actually gone down three spaces, as has Zsa Zsa, Zsa or Shasha has gone on down what did i say she she is this time sure? to be in sorry, 36th place she was a member of team fug who became Axia, a member of team Novik. again has been around for a lot of crazy yeah i tried to play a role in a lot of different chunks of the go any higher unless uh, you get hella flashbacks place, the most surprising to me is baylor got any more than wang wang and then they have flashbacks being in 35th in the entire series just being introduced in season three is crazy i doom being higher than yusracha is crazy. I did not expect Doom to be this high up. Doom went up, but Doom, but Doom is in a lot of panels where he's just like following around people and other high rankers and like um and Yamma and whatnot. So it kind of makes sense to me. But he's been involved, like he's been there. He, but after like the cage, he hasn't really been the fort, like the focal point in the fort, and like Yamma is. But he's been there. That that's not as shocking to me. Bro, I need to change my Twitch notification thing. What happened? Oh, because I said I jumped off a cliff. <laughs> uh, Kermit's, Kermit's inspiration as a young frog was Cobalt. <laughs> yeah, facts. Up 17 spots from last time. He was already it's high It's also up. weird Doom is alive. I, I thought he would die. I thought he would die. I thought he would die. You know what I'm saying? Listen, man. I might really be doing that. You don't know. You don't know if I just jump off and, you know, walk in. <laughs> but it is just crazy to me. And Why did I even change that? 
for things. I'm he hasn't gotten the same man, attention that Yisracha or Yama has gotten, <laughs> but he's been involved in pretty much everything that's gone on there. That is just because he was even there when my when my favorite my favorite American showed up, um, Lopo Bia Katan with the yap, the blick, <laughs> the machine. I think I think I think um do commenting like you're you're still tired. You can't fight him. <laughs> so you he'd be, he'd be there. He'd be there. I, especially after you posted you're going through it, you all was shook. My, I mean, I, I changed it a while ago, so I, that wasn't because of that. That's my bad, though. I don't know. I just, I'll, I'll think of something funnier. I apologize. Crazy <laughs> one to me. In 34th place is Fonsecal Larray, part of Bomb's team from the very beginning, then part of Team Shibisu. Uh, we recently saw Young him sleep. with the journey to Kota Wunyan at the beginning of Season 3. So Fonsecal like, Larray has a prime a candidate he to has die gone for down I thought spots. he would die in the cage. Yama would like be inspired. Like right now, he's like, oh, King of the Beast Kings. I thought he would be inspired to be like a true slayer with FUG and blah, 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 and the, and the Hound and the Beast Kings. Then I thought Paul was going to become the, the new leader of um the cage. That was what I expected, but yeah, you know, I'd be wrong all the fucking time. <laughs> so, not dropped that far. Beta has also dropped two spots. You saw Lori Beta five was years ago. That's kind insane. of an antagonist in the workshop battle turned good guy later on. Who was it, who was it that we were thinking of? Someone's like, we haven't seen someone in three years. I'm like, it's been like seven. Was it Rand? We're like, bro, Rand's been not. We haven't seen Rand in like seven years, bro. It's been like a minute. You got to think what the hiatus is and, like, and, all that, and all that stuff. Like, I think the last time we saw Rand was literally the name hunt station when he was still recovering from his fight with Inietta. I think he used Doritan two times. Like, we have not seen Rand in like, eight, yeah, eight years. There you go. Like, it's been a long time. He already gave up the fangs, so I doubt he has any reason to die now. That's a good point. I don't know, you know. SIU and Oda are cowards. They don't kill anybody that matters. And a member of Team Bomb for a while. Like I mentioned before, if we just see the lighthouse and the lighthouse has Beta in it, that doesn't count. We have to actually see Beta himself, or there was like that one exception where even though it was just Beta in the lighthouse, he really had an entire scene with Polly. Um, or maybe he was physically there. So if so, maybe there isn't any exception for Beta uh, when he had that conversation with Andrasi. Maybe he did show up physically there outside of the lighthouse. But either way, you get my point. That's who Beta is. Beta also, I mentioned, also dropped two spaces. Uh, Kang Ho Yang, or Kang Ho Yang, Kang Ho Yang, uh, Benjamino Wilmar dropped three spaces we saw more and Rendon is in 32nd place. Uh, and Red so, didn't yeah, die either, said the Pina. Maybe Paul is, scary, is, a, is a scary word in Korean. Behind <laughs> after Kasano took the other part of the devil. We saw him sitting up in bed when What's a scary Wang Nan made it back to him. So whenever we see Wang Nan's team again, eventually we will ideally be seeing Hor Yang again. Uh, we have Hajin. Haku, are those all Pokemon related and like um Figmas like, and statues behind you? The top are the like top Doom all Pokeballs and then they're all like Pokemon spaces. there? I think I Hajin see Hajin Sung being in kind of a lot a Gyarados, of the end Pikachu, of the nest and then a lot of the post hiatus stuff. And in your top 30, pa, 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 pa. You remember Trimer is the one who named Paul? Deeply Beto unserious Beto man. Was dropped down <laughs> three spaces. Back. Was kind of. She's still that high though. Road. Like she's still high. <laughs> she's still up there. Traveler? There's no way Traveler's this high. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. Novik, I could see still not dropping that much. That makes that, that's not crazy to me. Shout out to Evan. It's my guy. Um, Prince, how could Prince still be here? You're you're oh, whatever. Shout out to Ran, Han Sung Yu. And Miss Sleep, shout out to Irure. Miss Sleep, absolutely. Where are the pal spheres, sir? Where are the Tem cards? Own team ended up al or aligning oh, with Vicente or Vicente and Rack, uh, becoming a part of Bomb's team. Kind of sat out a lot of the arcs, just hung out on the Hell Train with Albelda. But still, enough time. The Hell Train was so long that Beto Beto is here. Those are the evolutions. Top right was Jodo Starters. I think the top left was a Squirtle and a Pikachu. I, I, you know what's crazy? I noticed it after you, like, not that not, not like I didn't notice it, but, like, I, I took note of it after you minimized. I'm like, why didn't I look when it was bigger? But I'm pretty sure at the end you'll, you'll embiggen it again, so I'll just look at it again. But uh, we, need, we, need you to get the, we need to get those Pal Spheres on the, on the top, man. And those Tem cards, bro. And those cassette beasts, those cassette Traveler recorders. in 29th. Traveler's gone down two spots. Traveler's a character that <clears throat> actually had some, like, notable presence in Workshop Battle, at least at the very beginning, but then was sidelined and we just cut Rare to Rare choice, uh, Sulang Wanda stuff, by my with arm. With Kasano freeing him, with well, Andrasi that. having a conversation with him. 
And then from there, we get into the hell train where he's just kind of around occasionally being what? like, what no. The hell? Oh, the minx. <laughs> I'm like, what? The, like, I'm like, like, what do they call again? I went through every race in my head. I'm like, they're not fishmen. They're not giants. They're not buccaneers. Like, what the hell? Minx. Minx. Costano, you can't use your power. Hey, best, best, best mod is uh, Mega Swampert in the gym. <laughs> I'm a, I like Mudkid. Mudkid's my favorite mod. Yet you're you're not ready, and then continuing on for there we mudkit marstomp marstomp, and then yes we see him captured by Anak and Andrasi when they're interrogating him for information on Rachel. Oh, then we that's a good point. At the beginning of the third season too, right? And they were whipping him. Okay, all right, all right. God damn it, guys! This is... <laughs> Recently, see him again. Fine. He's cleaning for Anak and Androsi's team, so he's around, and we just randomly see him here and there. But he just rarely. Some of y'all be sneaking y'all way in here. Y'all be stat padded. As much as we see him, and he <laughs> is be, probably the y'all be y'all be getting your numbers up. Like y'all be stat padding like like lizard. He be stat padding on his Annie list. He be reading those four coma six six chapter manga to get his numbers up don't let him lie to you he's not a real manga head with the get his ass cook him screen time compared to least popularity according to the popularity poll it's him and Casano right there for like least popular for most screen time and then i guess the opposite of that they don't have enough screen time to make the top 100 the most popular for least amount of screen time is like zahard and garam really um, so yeah, there was Traveler. I mentioned that Traveler dropped two spaces. <laughs> Novik here also dropped two spaces. Yeah, you be pattern, team Coon. You, you be grabbing rebounds and garbage leader time. leader of the spare team, though it seems like Ron kind of takes over a lot of the time. The leader of the spare team that is supposed to travel with Team Bomb and exchange members back and forth while also hunting for Rachel. Then in 27th, there is Benjamino Cassano, who is once again dropping two spaces. He is the brother of Horyang, who was part of Team Rachel for a while, and then went to give Horyang his half of the devil back. He had to learn to share with his brother. In 26th place, there's Evan Edrock, Yuri's God. Are they ever coming back? <laughs> Yo, dog. No, I'll save this for tomorrow. I've been there since like chapter two, basically, and he has gone down two spaces as well, dropping out of the top 25. Our last tie is 24th place, a tie between Yu Han Sung and Prince. Yu Han Sung has been around since season one. Yu Han Sung. I'm a little surprised the hard didn't end up making it. Oh, you know what? No, I'm stupid. I'm thinking that's, those are the, that's the boss and the captain. I think the only time he appeared was the hologram. Maybe I'm wrong. No, there was the one with I think Kel Hellum when he was like I'm the I was the first adventurer in the tower and blah 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 and he used the golden mystery the golden mystery I keep doing that the golden needle from Mystery Island, but there was like way more in the barrier and stuff and then the hologram with the ass ratchet so that kind of makes sense I think that'd only be like two, the infamous fisherman scene absolutely Garam is a goat absolutely that was a that was a elite lore dump, best speech in season three no contest. Nah, man, TR got that. Only got to appear once. Actually, no, 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 no. He was spinning. He was spinning. He was spinning. Once in the post tie. He even was spinning towards. Um, what, what did he say to Kel Hellum? Like, you, you could see uh, fate a little bit and you got cocky? <laughs> I said, damn. <laughs> you have Tron Ray calling at the beginning of the, beginning of the, of the whole thing. That's a good point. Kasana really doesn't deserve the hate. Like, yeah, it makes sense to not like him. He, then he was a villain. So good character work. No, I mean, you can hate anybody for any reason. You don't have to like a character because they're good. There's characters, I'm like, this is a great character. Still don't like him. Gon Havra. Can't stand him. I won't say anything more. You know, it, you know, it is what it is. I'm, but I'm a hater. I like to hate. hate. Hatred makes me feel good. We got to see some Doom, some Dewan, plenty of Yama Yasracha. Karaka has done some things. You want some vanished off Karaka the face of the earth. Karaka has done some things. Uh, one Why did you lie? You looked us right. You looked us right in the eyes in the camera and lied. Karaka has done some things. Because <laughs> character work is actually really good. He's just boring. Lol. Oh, I just don't really care for him or his brother. It's not. It's not even like a. Are they objectively well written or not? Just like I don't care for them, and I don't think they're going to be important. So, and the nest. What did he do? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Niggas in his, in his in his heart world. Yeah. He had the. Oh, he fought Fusile with dope with moron. Cassandra is more than Teddy, okay? Who's Teddy? Teddy? Like, Teddy? Teddy from Persona 4? <laughs> Once that group met up with Lobodon, so 
Is he still within Karaka's little inner realm? Where is he? Uh, so Yuan Sung's there. Yuan Sung would actually be in 14th place if we oh. counted him and the data Yuan Sung together. There is nothing against them. They're not in the story King anymore. Bong, I forgot about them, and I don't care for them. Likely not back. getting too much higher up on this list, and it is uh, just barely hanging into the top 25 here. And Prince has gone down two spaces, but Yuan Sung has gone up six spaces. That makes total since sense. 500. Then in 2013, because he packed up, Kuhn- I almost called him Yes Racha ha- Haracha. Hasracha? Haracha? The Beastkin. The Beastkin. Oh my god. He used beastification. He was a feline person. There we go. Crying how 90% of, of your scenes you're just sleeping and you got more screen time than people like in Song in the Wreck. It's, it's kind of funny. You say Gun Hover amazing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all, 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 y'all be torturing me. Drop two spaces like a lot of these have. Uh, again, member of Team Novik. Before that, member of Team Kuhn. Brother to like full brother to Masheni, half brother to Agaro Agnes. Um, we have Fonsakal Irure in 22nd place, also dropping two spaces, who was a member of Team Bomb for a while through the Hell Train. And actually, actually, a crazy fact about Irure's screen time is that <laughs> Irure is in every single arc of the Hell Train, which is something that not even Andrasi or Rack were. Because Rack wasn't in Floor of Death, and Drossi wasn't in Revolution Road. So Iterday was around for Just more of Hell Train sleep. than Words either of, Vince, of them, real at pill, least pill pop activities. Uh, in 21st place, almost cracking the top, uh, 20 like is candy. the yeah. kind of secondary Billy. main That's character like of Billy Season 3, Baylor Jama, yeah. who has gone up 14 spaces that from 35th sense. last time to 21st Maruna, this Gandhi, time. Of course. And I say that... Yama is the secondary protagonist Don't for season more, three. Kind Haku's of does the Wang Nan thing, where early season two, whenever we are not focusing on Bomb and seeing the story from around Bomb's perspective, yes, yes. we are it's, seeing it's things Yama's. from Wang Nan's perspective oh, and Yama. following him as sort of a secondary main character. And for season three, we get that with Yama. Oh, whenever yeah, we're I'm not say, with Bomb, him and Yas following Racha's Bomb's little view buddy cop things, adventure to that Yama. stupid librarian with the handcuffs in the book, it was the fake book. And we're like, what is the point of this? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> then he's like, I can't get out. And Bab's like, I'll help you. And I'm like, bro, Yama. Please. That's starting off in the cage, whether that's Bomb going to one of the walls while Yama goes to the other wall, whether that's all the focus he gets in the nest CBL. compared to Bomb, or whether that's since then we get Bomb and he gets the focus Stop in the hotel it. arc. Then in the interim, Yama gets a lot of the focus with the Gastang Secret Library arc, and then we kind of just go back to bomb as we're now heading into the sprout so again yama very very high up there oh, and for the last the time <laughs> i went through the actual chapter counts for all of the top 20 so once again i will do that and i will say that you need essentially 100 chapters out of these 600 to get into the top 20. Fair in enough. 20th place is Anak Zahara, barely hanging in there. Season 1 season one is putting in so much work for Anak. Anak had some of the most screen time in Season 1. I want to say, because, like, <laughs> aside from them whipping on um Traveler, I remember this. This my favorite panel of hers when she's flying on Vespa. I think it's, like, the main hunt station. But are you are still this high? Come on, dog. Oh, yeah, yeah. Han still up here. Hatsu. Yeah, that makes sense. Yoa, Yuri. Masang, not this guy Sachi Faker, oh god. But then after that, Masang, a little bit of workshop better. battle. <laughs> Since then, only cameos. Can I, can I, being... can I, when you say gra, who are you channeling? Ice Blaze? <laughs> and a knock fan, I said it in the last one, is hard. A knock has not gotten he a lot of fanny. respect he in the story. Gra. And it feels it feels almost a shame that Anak didn't get to play a part in the hotel arc and moving <laughs> on from there. Rachel. It kind of long, is long a shame driver. that we haven't seen more of Anak. Anak has dropped down two spaces so if, and um, has been in if, 97 if, if, and Dor- of and is Uber, is Uber, she's left. <laughs> in 19th <laughs> or taxi. place is Ha Yura, who hasn't changed positions. Ha Yura was in 19th last time, I believe. And 
she was in 99 chapters of the 600 that are in Tower of God. Then in 18, Karaka. we have Karaka breaking into the top 20. Karaka makes it to the top 20 by moving up five spaces from last time and has been in 101 chapters the position of is Tower Uber. of God. <laughs> David Hockney there in 17th place has uh, not changed position. 16 and 17 are the same. Uh, Honak Raptor and David Hockney haven't changed positions. And uh, they're actually only one apart from each other. Akraptor has been in 103 chapters and Hockney, or no, Hockney has been in 103 chapters. Akraptor has been in 104 Our chapters. Lineup is Almost so got clean, that beating and then breaking into the top 15, 15th place is Sachi Faker, who has dropped down one yeah, spot. That, uh, He's been in 116 chapters. Then Misang, who has been in 124 chapters, has also dropped Did down Yuri one drop? space. Like Yuri dropped. Or well, Yuri's been place around though. Is Maybe Yuri who was in fifteenth last time okay, and has up. gone up two spaces? Okay, Yuri has been in one hundred and twenty. Because Tiara was chapters. beating her ass. So all of these really aren't With the that pen impossibly work. far apart, depending on real who princesses. We see next. Uh, in 12th place is Yeon Yiwa, who has dropped one space out of 11th last time and has been in 129 chapters. Dong, again, who knows when we're seeing Yiwa again. And, uh, and then in that? 11th is Hatsu, who dropped one space okay. out of the top 10. Hatsu was 10th last time and is now 11th and has been in 139 chapters of Tower of God. So now we're getting into the top 10. And some of the name choices that I put down here are going to be questionable for some of you, but don't worry, I'll explain them. In 10th place is Ariel um, Joaquin, who Haku was, was not in up. 12th place last time, again, when he is by himself as Joaquin, he counts, or if he is the main personality of White, he counts. So he was in 12th last time. Where did you get and Dorothy? No, you're good, you're good, you're good. don't worry, you're not, you're not in trouble, I just, I just, just remember, um, he, he's, a, he's an official reader. Okay, so <laughs> you put Juvial Grace <laughs> instead of them. <laughs> Kunagwer Agnes, Rack, um, and Dorothy, and Dorsey Jihad, Huarion, Rachel, Ja Wagnan, Ship, Boro. Boro! How? Boro! Boro! <laughs> Boro! <laughs> he be cheating, he be cheating, he be cheating, bro. Bro, be cheating, dog. I'll explain it. Also, you're good. I didn't see it in time. Okay, okay, okay. Wagner and Nagoda 7. <laughs> I'm like, bro, 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 you cheating. <laughs> you borrow me cheating, dog. <laughs> this time has moved up to 10th to break into the top 10. He has been in 141 chapters. Then we have Boro, who is in ninth place, who dropped down one, was in eighth last time, and has been in 154 Borrow's my, chapters. Borrow's my new and enemy. And just beating him by one chapter. 155 chapters is Shibisu. That's why I asked him. But, it, but, but, um, but um, I, want, I wonder if Endorsey is kind of like what it's supposed to be in, like, I guess, Korean. But, it's, but you know, they didn't, like, do the, like, full english Asian of it. Because, like, I, what, what? There was a... There was a a shonen jump like you know you know the shonen jump files from back in the day where they they put multiple i remember the first time they translated sharingan they literally put like mirror wheel uh, copy eye or something like that and byakugan was just like white eye <laughs> so sometimes they like you know they translate it kind of weird who, who or passed very Boro literal to get into eighth and uh swapped the two positions of them and uh yeah so zboro shibisu in seventh is ja wangnan Ja Wangnan has not was changed Ryan. positions, was in seventh last time, and is uh some of you drop was you top three before nine chapters. And then our last position swap is Rachel and Huarion swapped positions. Last okay. time Rachel was in fifth and Huarion was in sixth. And oh, this time up. Rachel has dropped out of the top five. Rachel in sixth place with 193 chapters, and Huarion in Fifth with 196 chapters again. Uh, Dorsey was fighting really with Lily all together. Not. Could very crazy easily lately. switch with one another. On in fourth place is Andrasi. The mirror wheel eye slash Andorthy. is a deep cut. And you remember that? Yeah, in right. Fourth place hasn't changed with 200 or 229 chapters, which really isn't that impossible for Warion and Rachel and like, to uh, catch up to if she spends a couple arcs gone again. And as for her name, I put Andorthy here, and honestly. It doesn't look wrong. And ja, ja, ja Wagner put up um wilt numbers, <laughs> so he's 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 always solidified in the history books. 
like I, green time unrivaled, bro. That's that's that longevity. I put it down. I was arguing with myself. Do I put Andrasi because it's what I'm used to? Do I put in Dorsey because it's the official translation? And I maybe more people. I'm not like really keyed in with uh, like scan readers. I don't know if they call her Andrasi. So I'm like, I don't know what more people would recognize her as. But then I'm like. Is it wrong of me since I use Zahard because I know that that's correct? I know that that's what CU intends. Is it wrong of me to not put? I am not consistent with Jahad and Zahard. I'd be switching up. I'll, I'll have a I'll have a sentence and say Jahad first and say Zahard at the end. I am not consistent, bro. <laughs> I go and Dorothy because of the same reason. CU has for others we're dealing with romanized or translated names, but. With Dorothy, CU's written it out in Roman letters, so we don't really have much. Did he tweet that, or is that like in a blog post? I don't remember that, but all right, fair enough. Now I know. Excuse not to go with Dorothy. because you were also the one that that let us know that the essence of bravery was supposed to be like the like the essence of nothingness. I remember that. I recall that. And because Line Webtoons does some wonky stuff with the translations. When I, when I tell you wonky, big big load Yama what was it bay load? I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> The agendas I'm going to run with season two when the anime drafts for right now will be studied by future scholars. Again, it doesn't sound that wrong anymore. I don't know if something's happening with my brain, but it doesn't sound wrong to me. It doesn't look wrong to me. I say, uh, I say, but again, I say I ship, that there. Shibisu, Isu, fine. no consistency. It's kind of like I'm the, with yeah, Shibisu, I'm the, same. <laughs> the B and P in Korean can be pronounced as either B or P, and it's the same character, so you just have to go off of context of like where Personally, it is within the Jihad world or whatever, and it kind Jihad of could be or should be Shib, Isu, that's oh, his secondary oh, name that I hear, I, Kun I see calls him by. And with the I e, think the heart sounds the cooler. I just, I don't know. It's in Yihua. It's not consistent. But the issue you. is that I have seen so many different. Is there anything else I'm like that with? There's certain things I like that with. Like I just never say it like consistently. It's not. I want to say like tomato, tomato, schedule, schedule. But I say schedule. I don't say schedule. But there's certain words like that where I know you could pronounce them in different ways, and I'm just like, I am just not. <laughs> I'm not consistent, bro. Romanizations. So hard got that edge. So, like it's very common in Korean names, and I've seen it as Yi, as in Y I. I've seen it as E, whether just the letter E or the letter I. I've seen it as Li, whether L I or L E E. So it has been romanized so many different ways, but it's the same characters that um shib isu shib yisu shib lisu they're all correct. Same way you could call her Iwa, Yiwa, even Liwa, and like it's technically, I have seen it done. So it's not like one of those situations where they've been Romanized a lot of different ways. Uh, and Dorothy has been written out as in Dorothy. So yeah, she's been in 229 chapters. The top three are pretty much untouchable, I think. Andrasi actually closed the gap a little bit with Rack. That makes so much sense. the last one. But even then, it, it's just such a large gap. Rack has been in 306 chapters. Jesus. Uh, Kunagro Agnes has been in 414 chapters in second place. And first place is Bomb or Viola. Ah, or Viola yeah. with a, 527 a... chapters out of 600. I put Juviole Grace because I put 25th Bomb last time. And honestly, the more I read, the more I'm like, should we be calling him Viola? Should we be calling him Bomb? I don't know what I should be calling him. Oh, I just call him Bam. CBL, um, let me, uh, let me just show y'all, uh, I've got to do this first. Oh, I'm an idiot. That's the wrong thing. That's the wrong number. I need to open the chat. To click this. I don't know how it looks in my OBS though. So there you go. You see, right? Dara says, and Dorothy. So he's right. So there you go. There you go. There you go. My man's taste like candy. Yeah. S O U with the sketch. Yeah. Well, Gator is eighth. Um, Rack is third. It's my thing's a little bit cut off. So it's one Bam, two Aguero, three Rack, four, and Dorothy, five Red Witch Queen, six Freckle Bitch, <laughs> seven. Uh, John Morant, eight, big brain, nine, cheater, ten, the worst fight in season three, white. <laughs> um, but I put him there. And what's interesting to note is that last time, 
we're seeing less and less of Bomb, really. Last time Bomb was in 450 out of 500 chapters, there were only 50 chapters in the series that he wasn't in. But now, he hasn't been in, what is this, 73 chapters? Because he was at 527? So he hasn't been in 73. So in the first 500 chapters, he only missed out on 50, but in the 100 since then, he's missed out on there has been. I was. Them. I'm generally Again. surprised at how so many I chapters recently he hasn't been in. So I think by the time we get to 700, if we fair. continue at this When I do the top pace, 10 post hiatus, to I'll type out the 10, We might have hit the point where we had chat. over 100 okay. chapters um, without any bombing I'm still saying Dorsey, SIU is wrong, his character. Uh, so yeah, but he'd be I wrong. <laughs> suppose that's it for the top 100. Prediction of like Hawkins again on chapter 700. Bama will play Juvial Grace for number top one. 10 from the post hiatus, which is chapter 551 to chapter 600. And then shout outs to patrons and members. So let's go do that. Much like last time, I don't have a visual made for the top 10 from post hiatus, but from chapter 550 to chapter 600. What did you write it down? Show us, show, show us, show us the penmanship. Mate bro. Ha. So Mate is actually 10th place. Oh, I see them now. Okay, yeah. Evolutions. Just hella Pokeballs at the top. I actually don't know what that armor thing behind you really is. I can't see it too clearly. There's in a box. And then I think that's Wanda down there. And something else I can't see. Okay, interesting. Then 8th slash ninth place is a tie between Traumare and Yuri. They have both been in the same amount. Then another tie for 6th slash 7th place is Rack and Tiara. Rack and Tiara have been the same amount. Tiara. And then in 5th place, there's Serpent Master. In 4th place, there's Lilial. In 3rd place, there is Kun Agro Agnes. 2nd is Andrasi. And 1st place is Bomb. For a while there, Serpent Master and Bomb were like neck and neck. But then as we got out of the hotel arc, Serpent Master kind of fell off a Where's Zam Zam? Um, where's Zami? Lilial was really Zam -Zam way up there. I mean, she's still, where's she's Mr. still in 4th, <laughs> but kind of got overtaken by Andrasi and Kun over time. So Chiara that wasn't a super, a super fact, shocking top better. 10, really, which is why I was like, I'm not going to make that big a deal out of it. But there it is. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this video wasn't a complete disaster or anything. It's hard to know until I go and start editing because I did so much of this, just like I said, off the top of my head. The only things I had written down were whether they went up or down in chapters. Um, the rest I just kind of had to go by i'm the same way that. haku i hit record <laughs> and i just be it. going i don't even have a notes so, so bro i just be watching. going like if you did like the video <laughs> comment down there tell me what you thought of all this some of your favorite characters what were you surprised by i was the most surprised by lobodon shiliel gururo yama gustang was the shocking one this time who's drafty last time <laughs> laura i don't remember Kent, was traveler uh, the most shocking Keating. I don't know who was this line. Well, that's one of those people time. that came. Grand but this time, hey, cha, <laughs> this, this time Gistong, it was Doom. I, I thought he'd be like that. maybe Jin top Sung, 50, yes, barely. Racha. But Elbozo? a okay, lot. Bet. Especially above Elbozo. Yasracha. Just, it, <laughs> it feels off. But um, yeah, comment whatever you feel like commenting. Uh, we can talk down there. We can talk on Twitter if you want or on Discord. If you want a link to the server, it's free and open for anyone. Just ask and I can give you a link. And if you want to help support the channel, drop a super thanks if you'd like to. Or if you would like to help support the channel by joining as a channel member, hit join down below. Or as a patron, go to patreon.com slash haku of the tubes or a link will be in the description. Link will be in the description. Uh, channel members and patrons get One Piece videos early, and they also get a shout out at the end of every video. So huge, huge, massive thank you to patrons and members. Thank you to Joe's and regular Evan Holly, to Magical or Magical Girls, Fr Nono, no, Smeller Dog, and Abyss Knight, to Cherry okay. Student, David Langstaff, to Slayer Candidates, SG and Stan Cedar, and to Pure Element Pate Ardealo. Thank you all so 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 much for your support. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. There you go. You're a legendary for this, bro. Because I promise you, there's no bone in my body, no cell in my in my being <laughs> that's that's doing this. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I already told them, don't ever ask me to do something like this. The only Tower God like cool project that I wanted to do, I got cock blocked by UEFA and FIFA. I wanted to do every character that was named after a football player by which i mean soccer and i was getting into it and when i put it all together because i was doing them by parts there was like no i'm like bro this two second clip so i just left it on patreon so i never got to do it i'm like never again <laughs> never again that's something else i gotta ask tomorrow if you can get them to decide on one translation or something what would it be um, I'm cool with, oh, cause, oh yeah. Guide, navigator, guardian, administrator. Yeah. It's one of those things with me where I'm well-versed enough to just know 
if I am confused by what she mean, I'll just ask. But we could talk about that. that that's a that's a good idea because I think the one topic that we have about discourse being kind of difficult because everyone's in different places. I think we could we could slip that in there for translation stuff. Because I even remember back. Cause I, I remember I, I think I got I got Joe on one of the trivia things because I think he used the original or the later version of what, no the original version of what the language was called. I forgot what it was first. Was it Mexes then Mexethian or Mexethian then Mexes like and then like Kun was spelled Kun like Kun. K O N, like so, yeah. There was there was there was all of that kind of thing. Um, I still think Houndborn is a better translation instead of canine person or feline person. I I don't really like that. I think Houndborn sounds better. So just one of those things around. This. I let people go off what like, um, they think is best. Let me just actually just for the time being. Let me just go here, uh, deactivate this. Hold on, please, uh, please don't have a thing on it. Uh, where is my solo screen? Okay, good. I was like, please don't have like a like crazy spoiler on there because I wasn't sure. We'll talk for a bit and then I'm gonna do some more editing. But yeah, man, you're a legend, bro. <laughs> you're you're a legend for this. Mexi's the, the company. Uh, Maxethi in a line. There you go. Oh yeah, there was that too. Where's my left? Where's a character on my left side? On, on the left side. What happened? Where'd you go? Hello. I'll use uh. I'll just use uh, Elaine. It's fine. I'll just flip her talk for a bit and then but yeah anything here shock anybody i can't believe boros still up there he just he just he just he just living off early just oh my god bro and then so many legends guardian administrator is confusing because we had this conversation about something that happened that i don't think happened yet so i'm not going to say anything but oh yeah they call him jam jam in the other translation that's true so yeah um yeah so I I think the character that I actually thought would have probably cracked the top 30 easily was Tramore. Tramore is still not like in a crazy position, but I thought he would be like top 30 easily cuz he just he was around a lot just like in the Nenea um Wang Wang flashback, the silhouette, pulling up on um not pulling up on Bam but being like Bam, um Cobalt, the irregular Brought him to him, Gustang pleading. They're them trying to escape. Oh, his Shinwan Ryu, them trying to escape. He's on the ship. Then you know, like I really thought he was gonna like like quickly make it up there, but it makes sense though, because some of them are so high. It's probably my number one. I just have to use Guardian. Yeah, yeah. Um, I use Administrator for 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 like I use Guide. I usually just say Red Witch or Silver Dwarf. Honestly, I don't. I don't think I usually say Guide. I just, I just, I just call them what they are. So we're talking about like AI or AI. You know, the 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 girl that was in like the um the Floor of Death. I'll just say, oh, the Red Witch. If it's like you know, uh, what's the other the Butler looking um Silver Dwarf that we saw with Ed with um Thingy with um Evan. But I'll just say like Silver Dwarf. So yeah. Administrator is so dumb when we have test administrators or just a basic word administrator ready. No, this series has there's a lot of overlapping like that. Cause sometimes I wonder if the people who are um translating specifically this series and Kubera later on, I don't know where you've been reading it, but um later on you probably want to use the Babel Kim translations because it's Kubera fans translating Kubera. It's like if you said, Oh Naya, translate the boxer and I don't read it and I'm just translating it, but like I don't know the literal minutiae and jargon and, and certain diction that actually apply to specifically that series. So I'm like, oh, this it's, it's a guide. And that's what guide. So, yeah. Guide uses the word, Korean word navigator. The new term, I can't say that in Korean, is just, just a loan word. Yeah, that's fair. Hmm. Uh, all right. So I'll just do some some final things and then I'm, I'm, very, I'm very tired, y'all. But again... Shout out to you, man. Um, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna try to um, can I, I can post this on my thing on my community. People should should watch this because you do a lot of. It makes me upset that you do a lot of good work for this community and it gets like overlooked. So I'm gonna make sure I can. I, I'm not big enough to make to make a super big push, but I'll do what I can. But just real quick for anybody who is still in here. Hey, everybody. I'm gonna like it again on my on this channel. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is she? There it is. 
um, regular is the most egregious. Oh, regular. Is, oh, oh, God. They be regular. They just be saying it. Kubera and that sometimes confusing Sura Kings with other terms. That's so horrible. I haven't even checked the Kubera officials in a very long time. For anyone who's here, I'm going to keep plugging this because I'm very proud of what I've done so far. And this is kind of more in line with what I want to do. But um, this is my new channel. Every Friday, I put out a small video essay or a long forum video essay where I frame it in a film noir kind of detective style like I'm solving a case so far I've done you know what makes a trite fight scene elite I talked about storytelling so what's more important like the journey the conclusion the ride of the ending I did a Dino Ace recommendation I talked about how Reborn is underrated I talked about um, Adventure Time being a little bit more mature than it seems I kind of solved the Avatar debate of Korra versus Airbender I talked about why Superman is the GOAT I talked about Paper Mario did a recommendation a little bit for um, Scott Pilgrim um, graphic novel. This um, indie game, if you really like Sonic, especially 3D Sonic games, the adventure style or the boost era games, I talked about Spark the Electric Jester, why Monogatari is goaded. I did an explanation for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Uh, the next two will be the visual novel one, uh, but why I think Breath of the Wild is the best Zelda game. And finally, I will drop the, the, the big chunk, the Chungus. My, why I think Bomb Rush Cyberfunk has surpassed Jet Set Radio. So we're gonna do we're gonna do that. So yeah, we're born a goat. Facts, facts. I appreciate the yeah. The channel's actually doing a lot better than I expected, all things considered. So with that being said, without further ado, everyone be safe. Haku, good work as as per usual. You guys have yourself a good night. I'm tired, and yeah, I thought you were gonna say why Zelda is the greatest vision novel for a second. No, why is the greatest, the best Zelda game? Because they'd be trying to act like, oh, it's not a Zelda game because I can't find the heart pieces. I can't, I can't break pots for rupees. And I'm like, motherfucker, if you play as Link, and you gotta, you gotta, you play as Link, you're in Hyrule or Hyrule exists, and Zelda's in the game. You're playing a Zelda game. Can we stop the nonsense? <laughs> Imagine they were born live action. No, I don't. Don't imagine that. I'm not interested. <laughs> I'm not interested. Keep that over there. How about we just actually animate the last two arcs, the Shimon, the Shimon family arc, and uh, um, the um, Curse of the Rainbow of the Rainbow arc. How about we do that? That's what I want. All right, signing out. Be safe, everybody. My Trion gang, I appreciate you guys every month as per usual. You guys be paying my bills, helping me get through life every single day. Huge shout out to the CBLs. That's a certified BAM lover. They be loving BAM, LaBAM, James. But a huger shout out to the Priest of Fire. Those are the tier twos, the certified brothers lovers, and they might be the real CBLs. And the biggest shout out to the fifth Zen God. Shout out to all of my tier three. Shout out to I'm in the gym, Abdel, Childish New Jabez, Fair. Huey, Johnny Rogers, number one mod Katan, Lazy Dragon, Lucky Roo, Naz Riley, Revenant, Scobe, Simi, Tao, Tino Brown, Urek Masino, Wolf General, Zodiac Namiko, and Zyler Scotty. Your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you. I got to eat some sugar grass today. Oh, yeah, we moving on up, baby.